Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all are well. In our previous videos, we learned about the basics of geometry and patterns. Now the next topic coming our way is symmetry. So let's start. Let's look at certain photos. This is a dragonfly. This is a clover plant. This is a kiwi plant, fruit that is sliced in half. This is a lady's finger. It is also sliced in half. This is a coleus plant. This is a dahlia. This is a fearful plant. This is a starfish. This is a sliced orange fruit. This is our planet Earth and this is an emblem. Now all these, all these shapes that we show now are symmetrical shapes or simply they exhibit symmetry. Now how am I telling that? Well let's see. If you see this dragonfly if I try to divide this dragonfly into two parts so that the two parts that we obtain should be similar to each other then we can draw a vertical line like this one now let's see the next one that is the clover plant Here if I try to divide it into two parts then I can do it in two ways. One way is this and the other way is this. Now these two lines are dividing this uh, clover plant into two equal parts. Now both the parts made by these lines are identical and similar to each other. The next one is a kiwi plant or a kiwi fruit. Here also we can divide it into two parts in the following two ways. This is one way by using a vertical line and the other way is by using a uh, horizontal line. These two lines are also dividing it into two parts which are identical and at the same time equal. The next is a sliced lady finger. Here we can get up to five lines through which we can divide it into two equal parts let's see the five lines the first line is this the second line is this the third line is this the fourth line is this and the fifth line is this so these five lines are helping us to get two equal parts this each line is helping us to get two equal parts of the lady finger and these two parts are identical and similar in shape now this is a coleus plant. It can also be divided into two parts with the help of a vertical line. Now this vertical line is dividing this plant into two parts and these two parts are identical or similar to each other. Now this is what? This is a dahlia flower. Here also by using a horizontal line like this we can divide it into two parts. Now this is a fearful plant. Here also we can use a vertical line to make it into two equal parts. Now this line is helping us make this flower into two equal parts. Now this is a starfish. Yeah, it looks like a starfish. It's a starfish. Now this starfish can also be divided into two equal parts. But we can divide it into two equal parts uh, with the help of five lines. The first line is this. This line is dividing this starfish into two equal parts. Similarly, this line is also dividing the starfish into two equal parts. This line is also dividing the starfish into two equal parts. Similarly, this one also dividing it into two equal parts. And this also dividing it into two parts. Let's see the next shape or the next figure that is a orange that is slice in half. This also can be divided 
into two parts as shown here with the help of this line. Now let's see the next shape that is our planet earth. Now planet earth can also be divided into two identical parts with the help of this line. Here we are just talking about the shape and not the demography that means the inner whatever the drawings are there whatever the sky or the water or the land surface we can see we are not talking about that we are just talking about the shape here Sim simply we can divide it with the help of a line here in this emblem also if we draw a vertical line we can divide it into two parts now our hands are the mirror image of each other now mirror image means the visual that we see of any object so if we see our right hand it will resemble our left hand in a mirror if we consider this red line to be a mirror then the hands are the mirror image of each other that means what if you see the right hand in a mirror the image that will be seen on the mirror will be resembling a resembling the left hand let's see some geometrical shapes now here the first shape is a square if we divide the square with a vertical line we will be getting two equal parts and similarly by now in this square if we draw a line like this a vertical line we will be getting two equal parts and similarly two equal parts with the help of this line two equal parts with the help of this line and two equal parts with the help of this line so this square is a symmetrical shape the second figure is a equilateral triangle now a triangle having all the three sides equal is a equilateral triangle here we can divide it into two parts with the help of a vertical line like this so the two parts that we are getting are identical to each other and the last figure we are having is a regular pentagon now a pentagon is a shape a pentagon is a shape having five sides and a regular pentagon is one that is having all the five sides of equal length so here we will get five such lines that can divide the polygon into two equal parts the five lines are the first one is this the second one is this the third one is this the fourth one is this and the last or the fifth one is this line so all these shapes which can be divided into two equal parts with at least one straight line are known as symmetrical shapes Let's see the standard definition of symmetry. So a shape is said to be symmetrical if one half of the shape is exactly the same as the other half. There are many types of symmetry. Uh, like we can say reflectional symmetry rotational symmetry translational symmetry you will learn about them in your higher classes let's see some examples of symmetrical shapes here are some examples of symmetrical shapes uh, you will observe one thing there are certain dotted lines being made here this all dotted lines are what they are the lines that are dividing the shapes into two equal parts now let's talk about this line in details now this line that we are using to divide the shapes into two equal parts is known as the line of symmetry let's see its standard definition a line that divides a figure a shape or object into two parts such that when the shape or the figure is folded along that line the two parts of the figure coincide or simply they match together they are similar in size and shape in appearance that line is known as the line of symmetry 
this line can be vertical horizontal or a slant line it can be any type of line but it should be a straight line remember that and that line should divide the shape or that figure into two parts only not more than that remember that here you will see the line of symmetry is represented with the help of dotted lines usually we use dotted lines only to represent the lines of symmetry but in my video i have used normal lines also let's see the next shape so a shape or shape is said to be symmetric if its two parts are identical like we can see on the screen this shape is a symmetric shape why the line in between is dividing this shape into two parts and the two parts are identical to each other they are similar in shape size everything so this is a symmetric shape and a shape is said to be asymmetric if the two parts are not identical here you will see the line in between this is not a line of symmetry remember this this is simply a line a straight line this line is dividing this shape into two parts but the two parts are not similar they are not identical also so this is a asymmetric line so that's all for today i hope you like the video and you like the today